Cardboard fans, now we're going to make something big. A tractor. A tractor? I have always wanted my own tractor, ever since I was a little box. So have I. And now we're going to make one. But first, let's make a work drawing. Close up the box and glue down the flaps before we start. Now we can draw. Imagine a box transforming into a tractor. To do this, we'll need an exhaust pipe, wing mirrors, windows, wheels, a radiator grill, and we've got ourselves a tractor. We start with drawing the guidelines for cutting the box. Grab a ruler and measure up a rectangle on each side to cut out. Do one side first. Then an identical one on the other side. Nice and easy. Now we are ready to... Cut! Get a grown-up help you cut along these red lines to remove the rectangles. Cut away another strip here so you can fold down and glue these two flaps. Here's one I already cut, glued and taped up along the edges. It's really good and strong. Draw! Then we draw on all the tractor bits. Start with the windscreen on front of the box. It's good to get that done first. Continue with two headlights and a radiator grill between them. Under the grill, draw the front bumper. Then two front wheels, mostly on the side, but a little bit on the front too. Draw a wheel arch around the wheel. The back wheels are huge, and they also go round to the back of the tractor. Otherwise, they're just like the front wheels. They also need a nice wheel arch. Now draw a large door with a big window. And do it all again on the other side of the tractor. The back of the tractor has a window at the top and two rear lights. Now grab a thick marker pen and go over all the pencil lines to make them bold and ready for painting later. Finally, draw some extra details like treads on the tires, ridges on the grill. The tractor is ready for the next stage. Add. Then we need to prepare the parts and open up the tractor so that we can climb in. But first, we prepare the parts. First, draw two wing mirrors. One for each side. Then a fog light for the roof. We also need a strip of cardboard for the tow bar at the back. Grab your marker pen and go over all the pencil lines. This is how they should look when you've cut them out. Now, tape three toilet rolls together to make an exhaust pipe. Use plenty of sticky tape to make it strong. At the end of the exhaust pipe, cut some one centimeter notches. Fold them out like a fan and push down. Now, let's finish that tow bar. Put a bit of glue halfway along the cardboard strip and stick on the toilet roll. Right, let's 
clear up and get the tractor out again. It's time to glue on all the parts. Wing mirrors first. Make some glue flaps with a ruler to get nice straight edges. A little dab of glue. And stick the mirrors on, one on each side. Next, stick the fog light onto the roof. Now spread some glue onto the exhaust pipe and stick it standing up on the bonnet out to one side. It needs some sticky tape to hold it in place until the glue dries. Now for the tow bar. Bend it a bit like this so it pokes out from the body of the tractor. It should also fit between the rear wheels, like this. Again, use some sticky tape to hold it on while the glue dries. Imagine that! My own tractor! Paint! And then we can paint it up in any color we wish. I'm not sure what you think, but I think bright red will make this tractor look awesome. Since the tractor is so big, you should definitely use a thick and wide brush. However, around some of the details, you should switch to a smaller brush. When that's done, mix some white and blue to get a nice light color and use that for the windows. Continue with some yellow on the headlights. Black for the bumpers. And dark gray for the tires. Right, let's swap this tractor for one with dry paint. Look at it, isn't it great? At this stage, I often go over the lines again with a marker or a thin brush. It really makes the details stand out. Finally, the windows should shine. For that, use some white paint and paint some lines across like this. Get a grown-up to help you cut around the roof on three sides and fold it down inside the tractor. Then cut around the door and fold it out. Folding the roof in will support the tractor. The door should open outwards. It's hard to believe that this was just an old cardboard box a few minutes ago. Oh, I can't wait to take it for a spin on my cardboard farm. Let's watch it one more time. First, draw and cut out two rectangles on each side of the box. Then glue the flaps and tape the seams. Draw the tractor on the box, first with a pencil, then with a marker pen. Next, make and glue all the parts. Paint the tractor with bright red or whatever colors you want. Finally, cut the roof and fold it in. And fold out the door. You can also turn your tractor into a grocery shop. Cut out and remove the door and windscreen completely. Then add another box on the side and build an awning. Add a billboard and sell some groceries. Box, uh, help me out here. Got any more ideas? Sure thing, Einstein! You can use the same methods to make other big machines, such as this beefy bulldozer, this fabulous forklift, or this fancy fire engine. 
did it! I'm good at this! There. Hey, Box, do you want to try to drive the tractor? Sure. Okay. Door. Ah, there. Can you see properly? All right. There are thousands of ways you can box yourself. Just use your imagination. Bye. Thanks for watching. You'll find much more crazy cardboard craft on Facebook. Search for Box Yourself or FaceTime. <laughs>